Have you ever heard the terminology three chord wonder or four chord wonder? Well, this basically refers to a few chord progressions that have been used over and over and over again throughout history. A great example is D minor, G and C, and you can add an A minor in there at the end for good measure. But I can tell you that Maroon 5 did not come up with D minor, G and C, or they were not the first band to use it. What they did was they used it to great effect. In this video, we're going to use the chord track, which I've just added now, and an instrument track, and I'm going to add Hellion Sonic SE, which comes with Cubase. We're going to quickly recreate some of the most famous chord progressions, which are free for you to use anytime you want. First up, we're going to grab the pen tool from our toolbox, and you can do that by right mouse clicking with your mouse or just grabbing it from the toolbox up the top. And then it's a matter of entering an X on every bar, and this is our four chord wonder. Now, let's double click on the first X, and we can now select a chord. But to make it easier, let's go out of the editor and go across to the chord assistant where you can see all these chords in a big circle. And this is basically the circle of fists and we can move around different keys by using these arrows. Enough of the technical stuff, let's write a smash hit. First of all, click on C. Then use your right arrow button on your computer keypad and click on G. Do the same, A minor, and then the same, and F. And what you have here is the most famous four chord progression in history. All you have to do is move the tempo around and you'll start to recognize things like Someone Like You by Adele or No Woman No Cry or Poker Face by Lady Gaga or The Scientist by Coldplay, Perfect, Ed Sheeran, Africa, Toto. I could go on and on and on. Okay, let's make a few tweaks to our four chords. So. We're going to move to the second chord and we're going to change that to an F, which is the fourth. The third chord becomes a G, which is the fifth. And the last F is completely optional because hundreds of smash hits have been written on those first three chords alone, including A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton, What Makes You Beautiful by One Direction, Unpretty by TLC, Imagine by John Lennon, Twist and Shout, The Beatles. It goes on and on. There's Neil Diamond, Three Dog Night, Led Zeppelin, Rod Stewart, Elvis Presley, The Who. Everyone's had a crack at this chord progression. Even down to Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line. So that progression was basically two in one. The first three chords, hundreds of smash hits. All four chords, hundreds of smash hits. Right now, we're going to revisit the original chord progression I played you, which was pretty much Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. And this time you might notice though, it starts with a minor vibe. So it's a D minor, G, C, and if you want, you could add an A minor on the end for extra color. You don't need to though, you could keep it simple. It's not these chord progressions alone that have made smash hits and a lot of people a lot of money. It's what they've done with it. So it's things like the tempo, the production, the hooks, the melody, the lyrics, the artist, the management, a whole lot of things have got to align. There's plenty of videos out there on YouTube now to show you how you can take these chord progressions to the next level, including the Cubase YouTube channel. But before we leave, I just want to show you something very simple. Maroon 5 didn't just use these three chords, they added some color. So I've gone over to the editor and I'm adding some seventh chords over the top. So a major seventh, a seventh, and another seventh. And if we have a listen to that, you'll see that it's added more interest to those three chords that we had there before. And of course, you can continue on and develop that chord progression even further and turn it into something that's unique to you. The last chord progression I'm going to show you is C, A minor, D minor, G. Again, hundreds of smash hits, and all I need to really say is Valerie. Thanks for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. If you're inspired by some of these chords, but you just want to take it a step further, then subscribe to the Cubase YouTube channel, jump on and have a look at the chord track videos and all of the basic music production videos to learn more. Give us a thumbs up if you've learned something. I'll catch you soon.